Hello, everyone. Welcome to the Advocacy and Outreach SIG meeting. Today is April 8th. Um, we have only me and Jacqueline on the call. Maybe other contributors will join later because there are parallel uh, meetings. So, so we will start to go through the agenda and uh, let's see whether we have other topics to discuss. This is my screen. Yeah, I see okay. the screen. Yeah, so what we have for today is basically CDCon. Um, we have a follow up on promotion on Spinnaker Summit, which we want to discuss based on contributor feedback and status of community events, organizer sunboarding, and the uh, Jenkins Schlag bundle updates. So, probably I will uh, move this topic to the bottom because if uh, there are no other participants, it doesn't make sense to discuss it right now. Yeah. Um, okay. So for CDCon, uh, first uh, great news is that uh, all the agenda is live. So for CDCon itself, also for GitOps and Spinnaker summits. So if you go to the CDCon page, actually you can see all the Jenkins related events and there are filters by tag. Here you can see that uh, there is quite a lot of Jenkins related events announced. So everyone is uh, welcome to participate and we have a registration form. So if you want to join, just go to the CDCon website. Somewhere in Google. And here you can click uh, the register now button and all uh, the published events are free. So it's um, um, basically CDCon, uh, GitOps Summit, Spinnaker Summit and Jenkins Contributor Summit, which we will publish just in a few days. So you can uh, register here and you can participate in the event free of charge. So, Mm, regarding the rest, mm, we have some items to discuss in the program. So one item is uh, Jenkins Bots of Feeder. We have confirmed it, but it hasn't been published on the agenda yet. And we are looking uh, for moderators. So I started the thread in Advocacy and Outreach Seek. Um, and if you're interested, you can just find information here. There are also links to what is both and uh, both from the previous CDCon. So right now there is a response from Rick. I'm pretty sure that uh, usual suspects, for example, Mark, Wade, et cetera, would be available uh, to moderate the talk, uh, the discussion. So it's not a question of whether we do that. We definitely uh, want to do that. And, uh, and we can figure out who would be moderators as we go, maybe in a few days. Yeah, and have you submitted the application yet, Ole? Uh, not yet, because so the application requires- uh, the, the moderators, okay. Who is moderator. So uh, Roxanne uh, contacted me and we agreed that uh, I will submit the application in a few days. Okay, cool. Yeah, because I just want to make sure, um, I know there's the first come first serve thing. I don't want to miss out on this. Um, yeah, so just in case somebody asks, um, are there uh, any opportunities left uh, to a, a talk or lightning talk or demo to the agenda? Or, or do we, should we target uh, the contributor summit for that? I think we need to contribute, um, target the mm -hmm. contributor summit because right now the thing is we got an overwhelming amount of submissions. Mm -hmm to CDCon, so we actually have a wait list, you know, if, if um, speakers drop out. So right now we just don't have the space to take any more talks. So that's why I'm like, let's focus on the, on, on creating like a structure for the contributor summit. And if folks want to get involved that way. Yeah, for contributor summit, we still have uh, plenty of opportunities. We have just started um, assembling the agenda. Okay, cool. Uh, yeah, we'll uh, jump a bit. Uh, just yeah, contributor summit. So we have a landing page prepared. Uh, this landing page will evolve. So this is just something I assembled together quickly. Mm -hmm. uh, but yeah, there is registration between to uh, CDF uh, um, uh, landing page. And also, uh, yeah, there is coordination Google Doc where we basically have um, the work in progress agenda. So there we have already got some feedback from contributors. So what we plan is basically a more or less a standard uh, um, contributor summit. So we'll have opening session with uh, project updates, with presentations by key project leaders, etc. Then we will have um, a, a tracks for six and sub projects. Some mm -hmm. have been already confirmed, like advocacy, outreach, cloud native, Jenkins, 
documentation platform, most likely we'll have a separate track for Jenkins Kubernetes operator. We dedicated a separate newcomer track, which focuses on uh, uh, people who just start contributing or want to contribute to the project. Yeah. Um, and we also plan to have uh, some uh, discussions about key changes in the project. So uh, there is just some tentative items we have on the list. So it's the Jenkins 3, what would be in the scope when we delivered that and whether we delivered that. So then we have Java 17 support, Jenkins and Jenkins X collaboration. We will likely do the same for Jenkins and Tekton, maybe for Jenkins and Spinnaker if somebody is interested. So mm -hmm. we definitely want uh, to do interoperability topics. For example, uh, at CDCon, there will be the uh, presentation about how Artidius integrates with Jenkins. We can also yeah. do something like that. Um, um, quick question, Oleg. Like, when do you think you'll have the agenda finalized by? Um, mainly because, you know, I'd love to be able to also have Roxanne help with doing some of the promotion for this event. So. Like what one of the things that we've done for CDCon is we'll do a write up on each of the tracks. So it'd be nice to have like a write up of 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 the event and then what tracks you'll you'll have. So I think we'll we'll need to understand what are like the sessions and who are the the speakers and all that kind of stuff. Yeah. What is the preference? Um, you you let me know because um, mm. really we're. It, we can publish it in June, like just whatever helps to just, yeah. you know, help you get more people like more. I just want to raise awareness about the contributor mm -hmm. summit. Right. Mm -hmm. So this is really marketing pieces to help people understand the value of, of like the contributor summit. What is a contributor summit? So just let me know. Um, yeah. We're also wanted... interested to publish uh, the agenda as soon as possible. I was tentatively targeting um, uh, last uh, week of April for draft agenda. So with okay. some uh, empty slots, uh, but yeah, for key events, etc. Uh, my target was to provide um, details in two weeks. So if, if it's fine with you, it would be my target. Okay. Yeah, that's that works because then um, like we have, you know, partially half of May and, and we'll have like a month, for example, between middle of May through when CD, CDCon happens to do some promotion for, for the Contributor Summit. Um, if we just notice that when we have an agenda, we have just better luck at getting people to register. Um, mm -hmm. And, and like, like you saw, we've already have good numbers anyways, people are interested in participating, so. Yeah, right. Do you have a goal of how many people you want registered for the Contributor Summit? We don't have a particular goal for registrations. Okay. We would like uh, to have, let's say, yeah, from 50 to 100 participants, okay. uh, maybe a bit more. So usually at the offline events, we had uh, around 50. Uh, we would like just approximately have the same number we review to our capacity we can have breakout rooms etc so technically mm -hmm. uh, we can host up to 250. Mm -hmm. okay uh, yeah so i don't think that uh, we will uh, have issues with hitting this limit okay uh, so basically we'll press it as is um, but yeah our goal is just maybe 50 to 100 right now okay Cool. So, um, well, at least we're in a good start. Like right now, like I mentioned, 54 people have registered for the Contributor Summit and we haven't done an anything <laughs> to promote it. So Maybe this is looking good. I don't know what is a show up rate because usually at online events, it's around 20%. Yeah. So last year, um, the average uh, uh, attendee sesh per session was 76. Mm -hmm. I believe. So I'm hoping that, you know, that's right kind of in between how many participants you're you're hoping to have. Um, but I just like I said, I just want to raise awareness that that this is also happening because we kind of added this um, late in the game. Um, but OK, cool. Yeah, let's try to do that. Um, and uh, yeah, uh, 
I think that it's of joint interest to promote the payment. So especially since we have tracks for newcomer contributors, uh, we also want to have um, a few sessions with user feedback. So yeah. basically inviting uh, some key users, maybe from CDF members, etc., yeah. so that uh, they do presentation about uh, well, basically what's the perception of Jenkins and what they would like to see changing. Mm -hmm. So again, the focus on contribution, but the user feedback is something we definitely appreciate. Okay. Uh, yeah, let's try to do that. Mm -hmm. Sounds good. Okay. So yeah, regarding other topics, so Jenkins talks, uh, moderators, we discussed, so we will do that. Uh, computer Summit, we also discussed that. So we can move forward unless you have any other topics about CDCon. No, that's it. Uh, yeah, so we also discussed promotion uh, uh, Jenkins IO, and we will do that. We already have uh, Jumbotron. So if you go to Jenkins IO, um, we edit uh, the event to our calendar. Awesome. So, yeah, it's here, plus appearing on some uh, pages. Mm -hmm. um, we will also. We also have Jumbotron, so if you click here, you can see CDN. Oh yeah, it's there, cool. Uh, we will also do some posts, etc. And we want to announce uh, the Jenkins agenda in the event. And so, uh, uh, yeah, so let me ask Roxanne, because I, um, I know she's going to be, I, I need to align with her on um, some of the blog promotion for CDCon. So if, Mm -hmm. I'll ask her if she's planning on doing something like specifically by projects, like, hey, check out all the talks around Jenkins, because um, sometimes she'll she'll write blogs like that. So I'll ask her to, mm -hmm. I'll, I just need to sync with her what her plan is. And if she doesn't have it, I'll bring it up to her that like, hey, can we do a, can you go straight a blog on like all the Jenkins talks, for example, and then um, right. we can cross promote. Yeah, happy to help with that. And yeah, um, any other topics? Yeah, so we will definitely do a separate announcement for the contributor summit. Mm -hmm. um, maybe if uh, there were some, uh, there will be some updates. Well, for example, when the agenda is live, we will do separate announcement. So let's see. But yeah. Yeah, I don't anticipate problem with getting to a considerable number of contributors. It's just a matter of whether we can onboard new participants, the usual suspects. Yeah, I mean, the other thing too, so like kind of going back to one of the topics that we had on the agenda about like the events that I added on all the jams. So a lot of those communities are dormant right now. Yep. Um, so that's also why I wanted to go in and, and add all of these events um, uh, and to hopefully start getting some engagement um, because one of the things I've noticed is also overlap between Spinnaker community and the Jenkins community. And so I just wanted people to just be aware that, hey, we want to extend the invitation um, and, and, you know, encourage interoperability. So I, I do, if we want to put a process in place for, for the groups, um, like I said, let me know. But like what one of the things I noticed was that a lot of the groups, like no one's, there's been no activity and it's yep. been like that for a while. So I'm trying to also figure out how do we re-engage these communities? Cause like I said, there's a lot of groups that have like, there's been no engagement since like 2018. Right. And uh, that's basically a problem we discussed a few times before what we do with these Jenkins array meetups because we started recovering them, but then COVID happened. So basically everything was put on hold because it doesn't make much sense to host uh, um, events just for particular uh, region. So we mm -hmm. do that when the organizers, but uh, yeah, for English speaking meetups, we usually do Jenkins online meetup. We've had something like 20 events last year on the Jenkins online meetups. So. Yeah, I mean, that's, mm -hmm. that's, you know, the Jenkins online meetup mm -hmm. is um, like one of the outliers, right? It's, it's not yeah, like the, I agree. right, right now we have 69 groups. And mm -hmm. I will say like, of the 
of the 30 groups, 30 plus groups that I posted, you know, StudioCon and Spinnaker Summit and um, also like GitOps Summit, they hadn't had an event in a long time besides, like I said, the, the Jenkins online meetup and the London uh, um, Jenkins yep. online meetup um, and like maybe a few others, but all the other ones, like mm-hmm. um, either like the organizers, there wasn't an organizer anymore. It was just like the CD foundation listed as an organizer. Um, mm. So yeah, I'm, I'm finally have a little bit of more, more bandwidth to start focusing on the meetup groups. That's why I thought, well, maybe if I add these events and extend the invitation, to these um, meetup groups, like maybe I can start figuring out how to reinvigorate these communities, right? Because at the end of the day, like we are all one community and that that's the goal. Um, but I do understand, like, I don't want to step on any of the active organizers toes. So I'm happy to align with whatever process um, you propose, Oleg. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so firstly, I totally support that we promote events. Uh, we we should use this opportunity the um, way we can. So the concern uh, we've got uh, um, from Jenkins community members, specifically mm-hmm. about Spinnaker Summit. So CDC on no concern at all. Uh, GitOps Summit no concern at all. Um, Spinnaker Summit is a bit more tricky because yeah, Spinnaker and Jenkins they're not really con- competing products uh, because Spinnaker offers Jenkins as one of the right. uh, engines under the hood. Mm-hmm. Uh, so yeah, the problem that uh, in this particular case, uh, there is no Jenkins related talks on this in the Spinnaker summit okay. from what we've seen. And uh, yeah, in our case, so the event was announced, uh, there is no Jenkins content there. Even though, yeah, I totally agree that there is overlap between communities and even here mm-hmm. you can see that there are third registrations. Yeah. Um, and yeah, also, yeah, people were a bit confused. Some people uh, got uh, multiple notifications. I'm probably the edge case because I'm admin in the most of the European meetups at the moment. Yeah. And, uh, yeah, I've got quite a lot of notifications, but other people, yeah, they were basically confused. That, yeah, what happens? Why do we have Spinnaker meetup there, etc. Mm-hmm. So. I think that it still makes sense to promote it, but uh, there are other ways. So one of the ways is actually to use um, discussions instead of the oh, got it. event. Mm-hmm. Uh, and uh, I used it a few times uh, in other meetups. So when you want to announce something, uh, uh, you just use a discussion. The discussion board. Uh, okay. Do you yeah. Think perfect. All right. I'm, I'm opening. Yeah, I can do that for the Spinnaker yes. one then. Yeah, right. And yeah, maybe another way is highlighting a specific agenda, for example, set of Spinnaker Summit saying that, for example, if there was um, one talk or two talks related to Jenkins, for example, like OpsMX did uh, the bot lab set sale in the cloud right. PC or whatever it was called. Mm-hmm. So instead of uh, announcing the summit as this, it would be possible to announce a particular talk or maybe two, three talks within the summit, uh, okay. but, uh, pointing directly to Jenkins. Yeah, I can do that. That makes yeah. sense. Um, okay, sure, no problem. Yeah, so again, it's something for the future. So for this event, we have already announced it. I don't think that there is any real uh, reason to remove it. Yeah. And uh, yeah, but yeah, just in the future when we announce uh, events, so when uh, there is Jenkins specific content, no problem at all. Okay. Uh, there is no Jenkins specific content here. We can uh, find uh, other ways. Okay. Through mm. meetups. Okay, sounds good. Mm-hmm. Also, yeah, it's possible to just send a message to all meetup participants. So all our admins uh, can, can do that. So on behalf of Continuous Delivery Foundation, you can basically send the same newsletter uh, uh, to all meetup participants. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I know. But uh, what I noticed is, um, those emails end up in spam, at least when I've sent test emails, like, so that, that's why I don't, I, that's why I went in and created the events. Um, but yeah, no, that makes sense. Okay. Yeah. So anyway, yeah, we can just discuss how we approach it uh, later. 
Mm-hmm. Uh, but yeah, I totally agree that we should have uh, with promoting the events, especially and if there is any Jenkins content, uh, whether especially for a free conference, it doesn't really matter whether we, it's called Spinnaker okay. Sant or whatever, we can help with promoting. Thank you. Right. And yeah, I guess we can close this topic for now. I mean, yeah, I promised some contributors to follow up and mm-hmm. later we can basically just document what we discussed. So there would be a kind of rules of engagement. Okay. Sounds good. Mm-hmm. Okay. I'll probably uh, take this action item. Okay, so something like that we can document it somewhere. And okay. I, mean, yeah, I think that should be an iterative process. And if we have any other event to promote, we can discuss that. Sounds good. Okay, so should we move on then? Yeah, let's move on. Okay, Jenkins Schwag bundles. So I uh, sent a message to the community just to understand uh, what uh, is the demand at the moment mm-hmm. so to plan budget on our side. And yeah, currently we have some requests from different events. So Code mm-hmm. of Focus webinar, Codes Africa. Uh, then uh, we have uh, a pen testing completed uh, by a few students uh, as a part of their practice. And we want to say thank you for that. And also, there is a lot of TBD things in the day, mm-hmm. plus uh, yeah, local meetups in China. So I guess that there will be considerable amount of schwag uh, to deliver. Again, um, yeah, the budget is something we can figure out on our side. Uh, the problem is is logistics. Uh, so yeah, mm-hmm. you have this pending uh, story, but yeah, it really depends on uh, how much would it cost to deliver. Uh, Schwab from Pinnacle because if, if it's I know seven, I saw her note where it was like sixty dollars to deliver and I'm assuming they're probably using um like FedEx because of tracking purposes um so yeah that part I I really don't have I don't have an answer right now for you Oleg on on how do we get around that um. I, I need to have a meeting with her anyways, because we've, we had to have some orders for, um, for the event. So I need to follow up with her, but yeah, let me ask her if we have, if we can have like a preference on the type on, on the, sh- on who ships it out, like whether it could be just by like regular mail, like, or if we have to use UPS or FedEx, um, yeah, so let sure me what's, uh, the situation in the United States, but for example, for Switzerland, uh, um, using common post is much more convenient than FedEx uh, or UPS because uh, it's a delivery nightmare every time. Mm-hmm. And uh, just using common post with tracking, I believe it will be convenient for mostly everybody because yeah, they just uh, get to your mailbox. Yeah, I, I mean, um, yeah, ideally. Let me. Um... Mm-hmm. Let me follow up with her. Um, like I said, I, I just, I'm trying to figure this out on how do we do this the most affordable way? Um, because yeah, that is also just, it's kind of crazy. Yeah. So I did some checks on my side. Mm-hmm. Um, I haven't contacted the vendors yet, but they, if I wanted to deliver a uh, shock from Switzerland, um, it would be uh, $9 without tracking up to 250 grams and uh we strike and it could be 15. so i mean the other option would be like i can just send you all the swag send you send one trip shipment to switzerland and then you figure out how to distribute it um yeah. because that's one way to cost you know cut costs um mm-hmm. Or we, you know, send direct shipments to all of like the folks, like one shipment to Mark and Zainab, and then they take care of the distribution. 
Yeah. Um, we could do such a continent distribution because we had people in China, we had people in India, in Europe. Exactly. In Africa, I can in send one shipment to like Rick, for example, of mm -hmm. like what he needs, and then he can take care of distributing it. So that's yeah, right. one way to do it. And then we don't have to worry about like the individual costs. Um, they figure out how to get it to, to their point of contacts. Um, or let me ask her to see if we actually have an op, like if, if we have an option to pick like regular mail versus the UPS. And yeah, it would be great. So we <clears throat> did the SWAC delivery on a massive scale when we were doing uh, GSOC 2019. Thanks to Martin Danjou, he said, sent uh, 60 packages or something like that. Mm -hmm. uh, but yeah, it requires a lot of time to handle. So uh, the benefits of having access to CDF store, um, they're real, uh, but yeah, it really depends on the shipping cost because it's in. Yeah, no, I know that the shipping cost is, is, is become such a, well, it's just become such a problem and also, uh, yeah, I don't know what to do. I, I, ideally, I'd, Pinnacle is kind of expensive, so. Yeah, but uh, Pinnacle was quite explicit about that. So basically, they earn money on delivery and not on production. Um, so when we had a meeting with them well, one year ago or so, they were quite explicit about that. Yeah. Um, OK. Hey, Mark. Sorry, 30 minutes late. My apologies. <laughs> well, we're almost done. <laughs> Great. Uh, well, I, I was worried that I was going to arrive and be the only person in the meeting. So because oh. you had already finished completely. We gave when you I, all the ARs. <laughs> Love it. I get the action items. That's great. Yeah. No, when I organize the meeting, usually we stay late. <laughs> okay. Uh, yeah. So we just uh, finished this Schwag bundles. Again, I collected information on our site. There is no emergency deliveries needed. Uh, though we have one case with code for calls. I would like rather like to send the schwag away earlier. Uh, but yeah, again, early another one or two weeks or something we can wait. So okay. 10 packs, when you say, when you wrote 10 packs, did you mean like um, the 10 socks or like socks and stickers, all that yeah. stuff? Okay, right. got it. Yeah, so we still need to form them. Uh, we still need to order production of stickers, etc. But uh, these prices are quite affordable and quite okay. Okay. So yeah, I wouldn't say it's super cheap, but it's not something I would be concerned of uh, <laughs> about uh, ordering this pinnacle. Uh, but yeah, delivery is the real problem. Yeah, it's because, uh, like I said, we could donate the mm -hmm. the swag. It's just the delivery that's just become a, an issue because it's so expensive. Mm -hmm. Right. So let's figure out how we do that going forward. And again, uh, for these particular uh, cases, so. Code for calls, uh, she calls Africa. Again, we can just uh, deliver to single destination. So we have to sign up uh, in this case to Kunal uh, in India. And uh, what else do we have? Yeah, for pen testing, yeah, this is what we can send from, from Switzerland or from or France easily. Yeah. So, yeah, let's discuss it later, but I'm not concerned about that. Okay. Yeah. Like I, like I said, if we can do one single shipment mm -hmm. and then one person on the ground is responsible for distributing them, that will save us some money instead of trying to have Pinnacle ship it out individually to all mm -hmm. of that. It, it ends up being so expensive. <clears throat> okay. So yeah, I'll we'll try to follow up next week on that. Uh, but yeah, I go to the input. So if we can organize mail delivery, I will uh, provide all the details. Okay, yeah, that sounds good. Okay, yeah, thank you. No problem. Okay, so the next item, I'm not sure whether we want to discuss it, is basically uh, status of community event organizers and boarding. Well, so so I am, I am interested, if nothing else has a status on how it's going, mm -hmm. that was an innovative thing that I thought you and Gavin did to 
promote the recruiting of a new events organ, a, a new events officer. I think that's what you're talking about, right? Yeah, right. So, so, so if you could just give a summary, that would be a help for me just to know how did it go? Should we mm -hmm. consider using the same technique for other kind of activities? Yeah, so how it did go? We just posted a LinkedIn and Twitter announcement. We didn't uh, write a blog post yet because it's still on my list as part of, well, basically self-announcement as event officer, which is getting, being delayed a bit, uh, but yeah. Uh, so we got uh, multiple follow-ups. I put approximately eight. So what we really got is uh, seven people were reaching out through LinkedIn for interested. We got um, a few people reaching out through mailing list because they read the announcement somewhere. Um, so in total, let's say we have more than 10 uh, potential contributors. I'm not sure how many people we will be able to really convert to contributors. Um, and yeah, I plan to organize onboarding meeting next week. Though the, the follow-up was pretty good and it was definitely better than we expected. And hopefully we will be able uh, to basically proceed with community events. Because for us, historically, it was an issue to onboard non-code contributors. So if we formalize the process for that, if we find ways to promote contributions and make it a win-win. So for example, for events, um, to what we start targeting basically event managers who want uh, to work on their portfolio. And uh, well, Jenkins project is a good opportunity for that. So why not? Okay, so the, 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 the sweet spot there was you found a way to describe something that a non-code contributor would be interested in doing to benefit uh, healthy self-interest, right? That it would help their portfolio. I organize such and such an event. Uh, yeah, okay. I'm not sure whether we explicitly said uh, portfolio in the announcement, um, but yeah. So let's see. Oh. A DevOps call for papers is open. Just noticed. A uh, message from Salina. Definitely something we will need to promote as well. Mm -hmm. So let's see. Yeah, we've got quite enough. Yeah, it's here. So the Jenkins project is looking for volunteers to help us organize the online community events, meetups. Uh, contributor summits, content booths, hackathons, etc. It's an amazing community, opening chain to support the open source community, we also have some uh, discussion for open source, etc. Uh, no experience needed, mentoring will be provided. So we haven't even mentioned portfolio etc. in this edition, uh, but yeah, maybe in the blog post I will mention it somehow. But well, even here you can see some comments so that people are interested. Uh, yeah. That's a lot of impressions too. You got 10,000 yeah, so, impressions for one post. That's really good. And a, right. a and, good click uh, rate. Yeah. So it's basically more or less average click rate uh, on Jenkins. So we are somewhere between 2% and 5% depending on the content. Uh, but yeah, in this case, yeah, it worked pretty well. Even though the landing page, which it references still needs to be updated in my opinion. So I created it uh, last year. So it's a bit shy on the content, so we could expand it. Um, and yeah, it's something on my backlog right now. Yeah. But yeah, it works. Mm -hmm. Well, that's cool. That's yeah. exciting. Um, I wonder, I'll ask Roxanne if she's also repo reposted any of this stuff, because that'll also help. We asked Roxanne to repost uh, JSOC. Uh, the videos, right? Yep. She also created a playlist on YouTube and she was going to do some social media promotion yep. for it. Uh, for these videos, apparently we didn't get uh, so many traction. I'm not sure why, because usually YouTube videos uh, get a lot of traction, but here you can see that 
yeah, on LinkedIn specific number of likes, number of impressions. It's okay, but it's not something stellar. If you go to YouTube, uh, the numbers are there also quite good, but again, they are also not stellar. So, well, definitely makes sense to repost it, but maybe we... Okay. Why do yeah. we get an advertisement on... Uh, I'm not sure what YouTube changed, uh, but uh, all these videos uh, are supposed to be demonetized because we explicitly disabled advertisement for all the channel. But now what I see that this, uh, some videos uh, start showing uh, the advertisement. Well, I hope you're making money off of it. <laughs> no, we don't because we are not a YouTube partner. We can actually become YouTube partner. We are eligible. Oh, uh, no. But yeah, I don't see any point. Uh... So on YouTube, it's uh, 100 views in addition. So, yeah. Okay. Well, she, yeah, she, sh she'll do some of that. So I'm hoping that will also help. And, um, Mark, one of the things um, that we we you missed is that we also just added the contributor summit to the CVCon registration, and you guys are at fifty seven registrants for the contributor summit. <laughs> yeah, Excellent, good. thank you. Already, so so just so you have a, a gauge, the um, the last contributor summit we did, mm -hmm. we after two weeks of active promoting and me talking to individuals and sending personal emails to people still only got to about 80. So you've already done, a, <clears throat> done dramatically better than my, my feeble attempts. Thank you, and thank you very we much. Haven't, um, we haven't done any promotion for it as well. So one of the things we wanted, uh, we're gonna do is um, the events team is gonna send kind of like a retroactive email to everybody who had already registered before we added the um, like GitOps events, Spinnaker Summit, and also the Contributor Summit, letting them know that there's this option that they can go back and edit their um, registration to add these events for free as well. So that hopefully will also give you guys another boost. And then um, Roxanne will also start, uh, as soon as we have like a graphic that you guys are, uh, approve, we'll start active social media promotion as well and it'll get added into the next newsletter and then any blogs um, will, if, if, you know, we can do a cross promotion of a blog as well. Um, so yeah, we'll, we'll go into active promoting as soon as all that stuff is finalized. Thank you. Mm -hmm. yeah, speaking of uh, the social media images, uh, maybe we could just review them now. Yeah, let's do it. Uh, just a second. Okay. Sorry. Yeah, now I do parallel activities. Uh, okay. I'll share my screen again. So what do uh, you have right now? Is that um, if you go to the definition doc, just a second, uh, short one dollars. Uh, yeah, just a second. Yeah, if you go to contributor summit, actually, we already have uh, metadata added to this page. Uh, but yeah, this metadata is just um, a tentative draft. So we have some artwork uh, prepared and uh, this artwork is available here. Okay. So here what we have at the moment. Loading. We should probably start uh, additional presentations because it takes hours to load this one now. Uh, okay, so here what we have. Um, um, as ideas. So we have, well, basically this Jenkins Contributor Summit is what we used in February. And I proposed a few options uh, for the CDCon. So this one is basically the default one at the moment. Um, then we have this one. So I basically tried to follow the style of other announcements. So yeah, you can see my math skills, um, but yeah, all of that are just drafts. So if you want to proceed with that, we can just post it right away. 
if we want to have something like that, I would still need to apply a few. Um, I, I actually really like slide 15. Um, I like uh, all the little different logos kind of like it just represents community to me when I see that. So I think that's what I love about it being a contributor summit and just bringing everybody together under under one roof to to discuss like the roadmap and everything. So that's why I like this one. Yeah, just don't ask what Toulouse Jenkins is doing in the Pacific. <laughs> Hey, wait a sec. I think the one in the Indian Ocean is the best of the choices, right? The, the Hyderabad one, which is, is barely on the Indian subcontinent. So. <laughs> Whatever. Uh, but yeah, I think uh, we can use that. Uh, so again, yeah, we can later give it to a professional designer to put the icons better, etc. if you want. Uh, but yeah, it kind of works as is. So yeah. if, you, if you want to press it with uh, the current option, I think we can just Continue. Yeah, that one. Yeah, I like that one. Mm -hmm. So we can just ship it then. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Uh, do you need any other graphics, for example, vectors, small images for the registration, or whatever, whatever? Um, I honestly, I need to go back through the registration, but I, I don't think so yeah, so what i've seen this view all events so there are there are relatively small logos oh those are logos oh god yeah so i guess it's something that would be needed and on the website you use a vector so i'm not sure what would be expectation from the linux foundation for that but yeah it needed i'm happy to draw one uh, by tomorrow um, yeah, if you have something that you can put qu quickly put together and, and like send over to us in an SVG or something like that, um, you know, hand it over. Um, yeah, I was thinking about something like that. But yeah, I actually skills. like that. I I like the, the mm -hmm. I, I actually like that. Okay, so yes, sir. So I don't think that we need to put the collocate at CDCon specifically. No, uh, no. Yeah, no. you just tried to add a few bits. Yeah, or um, I wouldn't call it Jenkins Summit, but call it... Uh, contributor Summit. Yeah, make sure you have like the entire uh, Contributor Summit, because I think that the Jenkins Summit might confuse people. Okay, so we need it uh, in orange then, and just go... Uh, yeah. Again, yeah, I promised to convert it uh, to good SVG. Okay. Yeah, just whenever, whenever you're ready, no rush. Um, and then we can, I can give it over to the events team, and, and they can have, it, they can add it. Okay, so yeah, I'll take it offline. Uh, but yeah, I'll try to send it over her today, and by tomorrow morning, New York time zone. Yeah, that works. Okay. So do we have anything else to discuss for today? No, I think that was it. So I can confirm having just done it this last minute that the modify button for registration works. I am now registered for the Jenkins online, the Jenkins contributor summit. I was yeah, not I also registered before. To that. So, Great. Yeah. So cool. Thank okay, you. So that we have everything in place, and yeah, thanks a lot for helping us on such uh, short notice. Yeah, no, no worries. I'm glad that we were able to make this work. So, and I'm glad that the process is streamlined, and we'll be able to, um, yeah, just and the other thing too is let me know if there's any like specific communications that we need to send out to the contributor summit registrants, like if there's like the specific mm -hmm. Zoom links or any of that kind of stuff. Um, yeah. let, let me know, um, and, yeah. and we, so, we can have the events team send all that through uh, C event. Yeah, I think we will need, uh, two messages, one for um, agenda going live or the mm -hmm. most of the agenda. So we yeah. can, uh, um, assume that it would be beginning of May and another one just a few days uh, before the event, all participation links, etc. Yeah. Like if there's a specific, you know, like kind of uh, if you can put together like what to know before 
the contributor summit or what to expect at the contributor summit and then the mm -hmm. instructions of what they need to do in order like if they need to go register on zoom to get that zoom link um, just all that kind of doc documentation let um whenever it's ready give it to me and then I'll, it's easy they just have to basically copy and paste that into into cvent yeah, it would be much appreciated. And yeah, again, what to expect, um, it's likely to be a blog post and the content we can uh, reuse uh, in the um, email announcements. Actually, yep. before that, uh, Tracy did a really good uh, post about what to expect at the Contributor Summit in 2019. Mm -hmm. I, I can find it, so we could basically follow the same style. Yeah, just um share whenever we have all that stuff ready share that with me and like i said um we can get that included in like the june newsletter for cdf we can cross promote the blog um we can put, put the blog on our site as well um send it yeah. out to all of the registrants it is so obviously we won't have contributor appreciation event. We mm -hmm. will have some uh, fun hours, hopefully, whatever it means. Um, but yeah, we can do something like that. Yeah, that would be awesome. And um, yeah, mm -hmm. we'll we'll get you the numbers. Thank you. Cool, great. That's it from my side. Then, yeah, thanks all. Thank you. So ju just for those, yeah, I do not think that anybody is going to watch us, but yeah, in eight minutes, uh, there will be a webinar by the Linux Foundation about Easy CLA. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it will be there. That's true. And, and yeah, we'll communicate uh, some information back. Unfortunately, we didn't get access to Easy CLA before the meetup, so we won't be able to share our story, but yeah, maybe next time. Cool. Mm -hmm. Sounds good. Thank you. Okay. Bye. Thanks all.